bet. What's going on out there, YouTube fam? It's the same leg here representing Team JVS. About to give you guys a JVS reactions video and some more stuff. I'm doing something really new. This is using Ecamm. I'm not promoting Ecamm in any way. I just have, I am a Mac user. I'm probably going to elevate eventually to get a, uh, a Mac Mini um, just for editing and producing uh, uh, actions that I have to do moving forward. But I'm about to test this out with a reaction that you've probably been waiting for, which is everything that's going on with EZ, Young EZ, and, and Natalie. I have been keeping up, so you guys are going to get a plethora of different videos, so just kind of hold on to your butts with that. Um, but let's see what is going on in paradise, so to speak. All right, here we go. Hopefully this works. I'm going to have to deal with the audio levels a little bit, but we're going to make it work, okay? can be an emotional person sometimes and how i feel about natalie is like oh, hold on let me back this up so y'all have really been asking like yo what has been going on with you and natalie i can be an emotional person sometimes and how i feel about natalie oh. is like oh so <laughs> so this is my thing yo i don't have any i don't i'm not knocking Easy or Natalie in any way. Hey, how are you guys doing? Yo, I kind of want to get straight to this video. Uh, this topic, and I think the they're hilarious. That you guys I think that they really do cheer or love each other very much. The issue that I've been having is that their their and relationship as real as possible and has been filmed this in, entire so time, and it is out. like. So let's get straight into this video. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I feel like personally that this wasn't, you know, what I'm saying this wasn't the vibe, bro. God, hit that subscribe button. Quick, Go. I think like, this is a really important thing to say because my whole thing was, and I've been saying it from Rip that even when Easy confessed these things, these actions to Natalie, I was like, this shouldn't be something that should be shown or filmed in any way, shape, or form. Like this is personal between y'all. Like y'all are business partners. Y'all are business women. Y'all love each other. Like this is something that you should keep near and dear to your heart. Let everybody know, you know, definitely take pictures, take vlogs, you know, of the aftermath of it. If you get some footage, then great. But, like, to film, like, you, you know, speaking out about this, to put all your, you know, eggs in one basket out for everybody. And then on top of that, like, your first date, like, and you guys will see my reaction to it. Like, I was kind of like, it just, it, I don't see how you can be comfortable or how Natalie could be comfortable, you know, maneuvering into this position with everything being vlogged. And it's kind of like, I don't know, like, it seems like the way that Easy was kind of approaching it, it was kind of like, she was like really trying to like, and I, it's kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. Like if, I don't know, it's a hard situation. I'm gonna, I'm just here Easy out for real for real. I'm gonna stop talking. Follow me on my Instagram because I post funny ass videos over there, totally different content, you know, and I'm shouting people out, so go over there, it's lit. But uh, let's get right into this topic, y'all. Let's get right into it. Here we go. All right, let's get it popping. Oh, um, what's up, y'all? So, first off, I want to say, like, yo, I've been kind of MIA on social media, like. I haven't really been on social media this since this whole video. coming this out story like I used to or like I usually am, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like to see the things that are popping up on my timeline and, and the questions that you guys have and like the stuff that I'm going through behind the oh, yeah, scenes is just, just so much to process. You know what I'm saying? It's just so much. I can and uh, for the people that are just now subscribing or just seeing my face to catch you up, um, I recently expressed my love to one of my best friends of three years and mind you she's straight she's never been with a girl before and I just had to tell her how I felt you know and I was deeply in love with her and I just I just had to tell her wait why did she say was like what when was this video I wish I had my phone on me so I could check the time stamp but why is she saying what <sighs> this is this is a real legit worry that I have and it's not any of my business. I think it's because I really do want them to work out, ultimately. Is that if the last video that was posted on their channel is conducive of what I've been worried about, is that people are going to perceive this to being like a stunt or a skit or something like that. And, I mean, they may have already resolved 
all of this and they're just kind of like maneuvering it, if that's one way, then that's great. But if it's like, this is really what's going on with them emotionally, you know what I'm saying? Like, and things are like really starting to be unstable and unhinged, then it's like, I mean, it's not, it's not going to be productive in the long run because either one, people are going to perceive it as being a stunt or two, if it wasn't never a stunt at all, which I don't, at this point, I don't think it was. It's going to be a strain on your relationship. It's going to be a strain on your business relationship. <laughs> like, like, you not being able to make videos. I, I honestly thought, you know what I'm saying? Because after this video, they hadn't made any videos in a while on Easy as Natalie. I think that now, Easy has been making videos. Like, she made one with, uh, you know, the Black Lives Matter uh, uh, protest. She made a recent one, I think, with Natalie's sister's husband I believe and I think they did something with somebody else I think that you know her, her sister again was something else was some kind of prank or whatever but I assumed it because everything that's been going on emotionally like you know what I'm saying like like this is a lot like with the whole the movement and the changes and just the escalation of racism and uh, social injustice and like everything that's been happening like that's a whole lot, you know what I'm saying? So I assume that that's the reason why they kind of been like lessen the amount of content they've been pushing out. But if it's been like they've been going through it, I don't know, man. I really don't know. But I just saying that if if it isn't a skit or anything like that, like this doesn't it makes people assume that it was all set up from jump. And I'm praying that that's not the way that the comments are gonna go. I really am. So when I told her, you know, it was very emotional. I was going through these emotions of fear and I was scared and, and I feared rejection, you know, but I just wanted it to be known because the audience started to see it and I started to feel it and I was just felt like I was hiding my feelings. So I expressed my love and that was a whole roller coaster of emotions and thankfully my best friend was in love with me too. So that was that's pretty much what's going on and that's what's been going on for the past two weeks Why now. Say it was. And yo, I just wanna say all of the support that I'm getting it's incredible you know i was scared to put this out that was one of my most vulnerable videos and it's just like yo it's freaking awesome it's cool i didn't i just didn't think that i had so much love and so much support from you guys so i just want to say thank you guys for watching my story and a lot of people have said that my story has helped them come out to their families has helped them come out to the people that they've been in love with for so long so i just want to say thank you for that and i and i really do appreciate all the love and support through these videos you guys like you guys see what we allow you to see i have another channel called easy x natalie and this channel young easy vlogs and my instagram and stuff like that but of course there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes you know and uh -oh. it's not like oh there's there's cameras around us 24 7 you're gonna see every single thing so this is an explanation to why like you know i haven't been on youtube and stuff like that because there's a lot of stuff that's going on behind the scenes um and i just want to address some of the things that you guys had questions about you know a lot of people wonder or ask or people that have already been subscribed and stuff like that. I just been seeing a lot of positive stuff, but also seeing a lot of negative stuff. I can be an emotional person sometimes. And it's just like doing this for so many years, being in the social media light. It's like I had to program my mind to try to block out the negativity. And just always focus on the positive because sometimes I found myself in a depressing state to where it was just like why do they think that about me why are they being so cruel if i was in person making this video would they say that to my face you know and it's just like so many people can be so hurtful but you know regardless i wanted to address people saying the videos that i have been the most vulnerable in um expressing my love to somebody that i wouldn't know if they would receive it the way i wanted them to i'm gonna pause it right there I'm gonna pause right there because I think I know where she's going with this because people have probably perceived or assumed that this is a stunt that this is you know for clout for views and um, it's probably if, if, if all this has been like real and real to her and real to Natalie it probably did hurt her heart and like coming from a background with the reaction community and like some of the things that people can say, some of the racially, like, just absurd things that people can say, 
um, I can only imagine what she's been dealing with. And this is my comment to that. It, like, I understand it, and I know where she's going to go with this line of dialogue. The problem is, and I brought it up from the beginning, and you know, I brought up in even videos before, is that my relationships, like, you know, with my family, with my wife, with my son, like, yeah, I could go and vlog all that and probably get, like, a really good following. Like, me and Alicia could probably make a whole other channel just on the craziness that we do and explore and talk with each other. Like, you know, the issue with that is that you, you're leaving yourself susceptible to your heart being snatched out or ripped apart or thrown left or right in ways that you can't perceive. It's like, I could go and make a YouTube channel with Alicia, right? But all it's got to do is somebody say something really crazy and it might hurt her whole heart and she's going to feel as though she wants to defend me or defend herself and then it's not fun anymore. Then you put yourself in the limelight of anything and anyone saying anything. And I think that that's been my whole worry with this whole entire thing is that, you know, if 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 this is how you really felt, you know what I'm saying, like, I would have just kind of kept it behind closed doors and talked about it after the fact. We ain't got to see all of it. The, the, the yeah, it, it will help out with views. And yeah, it's important for your fans to know what's going on. But sometimes your fans can be your your greatest weakness and they can put you in the worst kind of circumstance ever if you allow it. And I worry that this is what's happening with them. And I mean, I, again, I don't know whose idea was it to kind of put most of this stuff on social media. I feel like it's more so easy wanting to do it. But it's like the more she does this, the more she's gonna put herself susceptible to getting her heart hurt and like feelings like d destroyed, be honest with you. Like, it's not even a game because you're, you're literally putting your heart out to, to dry. Like, it's, it's different. Like, yeah, I got my family out here, I'm, I'm reacting, you know, yeah, I'm going and doing pranks or whatever. Like, but when you start pranking people that you love and when you start going and making videos about your acknowledgement of the, your love with somebody, they, people can slide it any kind of way they want to. So you just gotta be careful with that. And that's that's why I feel like she's about to go with this conversation. Sorry, interject. Sorry, you guys. I just wanna make sure I add that conversation because I don't know if she would actually even watch my video, but I want her to know like my open understanding and concern and thought about it because I get it. I've been there. I really have been there. And I, I've chose to blink and walk away. <laughs> like, I was like, yeah, nah, bro. I ain't giving nobody that right. A lot of people think that was fake, you know, and a lot of people have said some negative stuff and, and even just being disrespectful and rude. So I just kind of want to address that. Like, those are my 100% real, genuine feelings towards, you know, my best friend. And it's like, some of that stuff could get to me to where it's just like seeing a lot of people's comments, even on other people's videos and stuff like that. That stuff was kind of like getting to me a lot and it was just like you know i was trying not to feed into it because i know people control but what are you gonna do you can't fight them through a screen you know what i'm saying so it, it was just like a lot of stuff that that kind of like you know triggered my emotions seeing comments and stuff like that so i just wanted to address that like people think that oh like i'm putting on these fake ass tears for you know money yeah, and it's just like, yo, like, no. Throughout the years, I learned to not be emotional. You know what I'm saying? And be and have thick skin and have to toughen up my skin because if I did, I wasn't gonna last in this game. You know? But I can be an emotional person. So seeing that stuff, I feel like anybody can get emotional about it and stuff like that. It's just how you deal with it. And a lot of things that I was how I was dealing with it, it was just like, you know, um, but that was my genuine feelings towards Natalie. Those were real emotions. So to anybody that thinks that that was fake, I don't have, I don't owe you anything, but you know, I just, I still want to be expressive and I, I, I want to make this video. So y'all have really nah, been asking right. like, yo, what has been going on with you and Natalie? Just to break it down and people were saying that it was fake because it was just like how it was broken up, you know? And I just wanted to address that. If you uh, watch the video, uh like the first two videos of me expressing my love to Natalie was all in the same day. It was just split into two videos. And her response, 
I gave her what? I think I gave her like a couple days to just respond and really think about what I said. So in reality, those videos that were broken up, it was literally within three days. When you express your love to somebody, you can't instantly rush them. People are like, well, why would they break it up? Why wouldn't they make it in one video and blah, blah, blah. It's like, this is real life, real feelings. Like I'm not about to rush her feelings, you know? So it, it was just, it was just like just seeing the comments and stuff like that. Some of the comments, it was just like getting to me, you know? And there's a lot of positive videos, and but there's also a lot of hate videos like, oh, this is fake. Like they're just doing it to get their money. They're doing this to promote their book and yada, yada, yada. Before I express my love, there was promotion for the book, you know, before I express my love. It's like, of course, I'm a, this is excitement. We just got a book sale. Of course, I'm going to say that. So why not still promote the book? I'm going to promote my book, whether I'm sad, whether I'm happy, whether I'm in love, whether I'm being expressive. I'm going to promote my book regardless. So it wasn't no big scheme to just promote our book. No. And I'm a real human being. You know what I'm saying? So it just, yeah. I just want to address it so you guys understand. I really felt this way towards Natalie. You know, a lot of them haven't even watched our videos, haven't see seen it? our chemistry Hell, and the friendship that has been built me? up for years. You know what I'm saying? So they're just judging us based off of when I expressed my love to Natalie till now. You know what I'm saying? They don't they didn't build this with us. You know what I'm saying? The people that have been here like y'all, y'all know, y'all yeah. understand. Y'all get it. So to people. Yeah. And just to pause to be real fair, like I have been watching them for a grip. Like, I used to look at some of, like, their older vines, but, you know, I, what, how many years has it been now? Maybe, like, a year and a half, two years, close to two years, maybe, something like that. And, like, I mean, it, there were moments that I was kind of, like, I would question, too. I was like, Do, does, does Natalie really legit maybe have feelings for this one? Like, that's why, like, in my reaction... I freaked out as much as I did because I was like already assuming that back in my head. Most of the most of their fans would assume the same thing. Like it's it's undeniable that they have amazingly flourished chemistry. It is just a matter of what do you do with that? And then to Natalie's comment, like she let it all out there. She assessed it from a long perspective. Now I think that's where this next video might be hurtful to me. Let me, let me keep watching. Just are new here I'm sorry, I'm you know are new to my life and my story to answer your question the chemistry is real this isn't a fake love this isn't a fake story so that's the answer to your question right there just go yeah. watch like uh, watch our bread they wouldn't bring their whole family up there <laughs> to just be like they wouldn't do that they, they would not bring their mothers up on this and their family members up on this at that point i was like nah it's it's not it's it's just now like bro like I'm about to look at the last next last video, but here we go. Videos from 2017. You know what I'm saying? I seen that y'all were saying like Natalie's not even really interested in me. Natalie doesn't really Ooh. like girls. You know yeah. how I feel about Natalie. It's like I can understand why y'all would think that, especially her being straight and her. You know, those are my exact fears before I express my love to her. So I understand that you guys think that it's a possibility that she couldn't like me. But mind you, like I said, I had been feeling this way for a while, and I know Natalie like the back of my hand, bro. The thing that I thought with Natalie and why she wasn't being expressive to how she felt towards me was because it was like she had never been with a girl. And, and knowing her, I knew that that was going to be it. I also did think this regular thoughts that girls would probably have not ever dating a girl, you know? I feel like the videos after me expressing my love, Natalie, I know she loves me. And it's still her being shy. This is a totally different side. She's never can, experienced anything like I can agree with that. Like, I can tell Natalie's trying her best to maneuver through this. And she's definitely shy. Like, she's definitely very shy with this whole thing. And... Now, this, that's, but this goes back to my whole point, bro. And this, I, mean, I don't know if, if, you know what I'm saying, Evie's going to get this. And I'm not sure if their whole situation has been resolved or not already. I'm just saying that if you know that your best friend is shy, if you know right now this is a, a, a precarious situation that you guys are both in, and on top of that, the, the, the lime life is literally shrouded over. You guys have a whole system built around each other. Some of this stuff is going to have to be taken care of in-house, bro. Like, y'all's relationship, y'all's dates and stuff like that, y'all going to have to go and figure out a way of doing that outside the camera, bro. Like, y'all need to leave that 
away from the camera. Like, because it's not going to be fair to you guys' relationship. It's not going to be fair to you. It's not going to be fair to Natalie. And I think that that's just my, my real legit feelings about it. This. It's my opinion, you know, though. when it comes it's to us being opinion. best friends, it's 100% authentic. But when it comes to her exploring this side, I want you guys to understand, just like I have to understand that this is new for her. You know, it's not her just faking it and just doing it and she's uncomfortable doing it for a check or whatever. I, I know 100% she knows that she loves me. She wouldn't just do this for a check. She's true to herself. She's not going to sell her soul and pretend to like women just for a check. No, yeah, that's, that's I agree. not her. I agree okay? with that. I completely agree. So let's talk about this engagement. What? Are me and Natalie engaged? 2017... I gave my best friend this ring. I gave my best friend a matching ring like this. And the ring was to symbolize friendship. I love to do sweet things. I'm just a giving person and I appreciated our friendship. So I decided to give us matching rings. So now, fast forward to the future that we're dating and stuff like that. It's like, are we engaged? And what sparked the question when Natalie lost her, you know, her ring? She lost her ring recently, not too long ago or whatever. Um, a lot of people were saying that I had accidentally slipped. I slipped up and I said engagement, engagement. ring. She did. You know, so a lot she of everybody's did. hopping on it like, yo, they've been engaged. I knew it. Blah, 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 blah. So I did say that. I did. I slipped up and said engagement ring. Just to, just to, you know, get you guys' mindset exactly pinpointing exactly what's going on. People were pointing out like she had been lost it. I didn't know when she lost this ring. Y'all are detectives. And this is why I love Neezy Gang supporters, Easy X Natalie. The last time that our supporters seen it, said that they seen it is when we were in the jacuzzi doing the touch of my body challenge. That was, that's what they were saying, like the last time that they had seen it. So fast forward to... You know, when I found the ring or whatever in that video, I specifically said, I didn't even know I said engagement ring. I didn't even know. And it was just like, damn, y'all be watching, watch no TikTok. <laughs> so to address the rumors about me and Natalie being engaged, I don't nah. know if this is going to upset you guys. I don't know if this is going to make you guys feel like, damn, I wish they were engaged. But no, guys, we aren't engaged. I call <laughs> it an engagement ring. It was on accident. It was 100% on accident. You know, I'm talking fast. I just ran out the house trying to be sneaky. My goofy ass. Like, I'm not even thinking. I didn't say engagement ring on purpose. <laughs> Anniversary ring, engagement ring. It was on accident. So, sorry. I kind of, I caught this, it too, like, though. I ruined some hopes like... or whatever or upset you guys. Like, damn, I wish they was engaged. But... Me and Natalie are not engaged at all. Um, I haven't been on social media and stuff like that because, like I said, there's been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that, you know, I haven't filmed and stuff like that. And you guys are asking, where has Natalie been? She's at her sister's house, I think. Uh, she's been going back and forth with her sister's house. So if you guys want to, you know, talk to her, she'll be on her channel and stuff like that. So, uh. With that being said, um, I'm going to keep posting videos on here, being active and entertaining you guys and stuff like that. So I'm excited hey. to bring you guys content. Today is my best friend Danielle's birthday. Make sure you guys go to her hey. Instagram. Tell her happy birthday. Tell her I sent you. Um, I'm about to enjoy that with her. And uh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. That don't add up. That, 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 something about that don't add up. So my thing was the... Uh, one of the biggest things that I was kind of like curious about this is that she was going to l let the clear the record on how her and Natalie are doing, but she never she talked about things that have worried her. She talked about the rumors. She talked about the things that were left in between the cracks, but she never really addressed how Natalie's doing or how her and Natalie are doing currently. And matter of fact, she talked about it in the beginning of the video. Like, it was kind of like past tense. So, I I don't know, bro. I'm a little worried. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. I'll talk to you guys later on. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't gonna stop. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell button. Definitely go down to the description bar below. Check out their channels. Subscribe to all of them. Great content. Peace, guys.